Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindy Sherries and if it's your first time, thank you for joining me and if you are watching for the second time and thank you for supporting me. And today I'm going to talk about Luno. Luno is one of the crypto exchanges that's available and mainly in South Africa we use we can use Luno. There's more there's a whole lot of lists that you can use. Uh, there's others like Binance, there's Coinbase, and there's uh, Git, GitHub, and there's more. So you'll have to check in your country if you're not in South Africa on which one to use. So before I continue, let me show you the list of countries that you can use Luno so that we can continue. So this is the list of countries which are allowed to use the LUNO. So as you can see, South Africa is number one. There's Indonesia, Malaysia, Nigeria. And then for countries in Europe, you can see the list that you can use LUNO. So even UK, Switzerland, yeah, all these countries can use LUNO. So it means just check before using LUNO if LUNO is allowed in your country. And I'll be sharing my link. So if you want to start using LUNO, you can just click it and join LUNO and create your wallet. And I always say it's very important to create uh, a wallet, a digital wallet, especially a crypto wallet, because the world is going there and we all need to know how at least it operates so that we can continue with our with our journey of this digital journey. Um, so now I'm back to uh, my Luno account. Remember the video is all about uh, how to withdraw from Luno into your local bank account. So say for example, maybe you've been trading, you've deposited um, your Luno into this account and maybe you've traded and now you have money that you want to withdraw into your local account or someone sent uh, uh, bitcoins or even USDs in using Luno. So you can easily withdraw into your local bank account and this is how you would do it. As you can see in my account, I have Bitcoin. So there's, lo uh, there's actually three uh, wallets that I have in this um, portfolio. So I have Bitcoin, I have Ethereum and then I have my ZA account and so as you can see i want to withdraw money from bitcoin so maybe for your case it will be ethereum or other currencies cryptocurrencies which you you can have so you can just select the one that you have and to create this account remember i said i'll send you a link on description and then you can just click it and create this account and the wallets will be there so all you have to do is just to click to get the wallet address you will click receive and then when you see receive, you select uh, that wallet, that Bitcoin wallet. And then this is your Bitcoin address. And remember, this is only your Bitcoin address. If you were to use the Ethereum one, you'll have to click Ethereum and click receive. And you will get the wallet address and send it to someone. If someone wants to send you money, they can send you money in seconds as long as they have your address. So say someone wants to send you Ethereum, so you can just click and click receive and then you will get that wallet address and send it to them to send you money and that money will appear in your wallet address fast. And say now you want to withdraw, you already have money in your one of your wallets and you want to withdraw. The best thing that you have to do, you have to set up your local bank account. And how do you do that? So my local bank account, it's ZA. Your local might, might be different. And then you click ZA and then you click, you can either deposit or withdraw. So if you want to add money into your account, you would click deposit and specify the amount of money that you want to deposit. And then you can either do a bank transfer or instant EFP where you use your credit card to pay. And then that money will be in your ZA wallet. And from there, you can just buy or buy uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum or even transfer to, to someone's wallet. So let's just say now you have money in your wallet, in your Bitcoin wallet, but then you have to, you want to withdraw into your local wallet. The first thing that you do, you click withdraw. This is just to set up your bank account and then you click add bank account and choose your bank account and then you will follow the steps until your bank account is set up. Once it's set up, 
once it's done, set up, it should look something like this. This one, it's my bank account. And then once it's set up, and you are now ready to withdraw. So remember, I said we want to withdraw money from Bitcoin into my ZA wallet. So I will click Bitcoin. And then you cannot just um, send money from Bitcoin into ZA without changing it from Bitcoin into ZA. So first thing that you need to do, you need to sell your Bitcoin to ZA. So now I'll be showing you how to sell because you cannot just, uh, this is Bitcoin is not a ZA currency. So you'll have to sell it first to ZA currency. So you click sell and then you say, I want to sell it to my ZA uh, wallet. And then how much do you want to sell? I said all of it. And then you click next and then you confirm. And then mission is done, meaning the money is now sold from my Bitcoin into my ZA wallet. As you can see, the money is no longer in my Bitcoin wallet. It's now in my ZA wallet. So the next step is to click my ZA wallet and click withdraw and select my bank account. Specify the amount. Uh, the amount that I want to withdraw, let's just say uh, 791. Uh, I'll just say training. It's optional. If you don't want to, you don't need to put this. And then how much do I want to withdraw into my local account? This and this is the fee. And then I click confirm. So money is now going into my standard bank. Um, account so uh, usually you will get um you will get your you will get your your uh, an email telling you that you've received money from Lu. so as you can see the money is still pending so it's been sent as an eft to my south african bank account so i'll just have to wait until the money is cleared so usually it doesn't take uh more than five minutes if it's a if the if the money is not that high only when the money is high sometimes it might take a day and then you'll have to check the following day so that's how you would do you will transfer money from your wallet until your local wallet so I've received an email uh, notifying me that there's a withdrawal and it might happen the next business day. So I'm not worried about, worried about that. And this is just to show you a confirmation email. So that's how you would uh, transfer money from your crypto into your local account. Uh, I hope you guys understand. Uh, just to make sure that we understand and just to list all the steps that are needed to in order for you to get your money into your local account. The first thing that you need to do is you need to transfer. If someone sends you money into your Luna account, you need to make sure first the which currency. So in my case, it was Bitcoin. In your case, it could be Ethereum or any other currency. And then the second step, you need to create your bank account. You create your bank account in, let me show you. You create your bank account by clicking your local account and click withdraw. Then you can add your bank account. The third step after creating your bank account, you will then have to go into the currency that you have money. So in my case, I had money in my Bitcoin. So I would click uh, Bitcoin and sell that into my local uh, bank account, which was ZA. And then you specify the amount and then it will be done. The next step, after selling, because now your know, money will um, will show in your local account, which is ZA. Next step, then you just click withdraw, and then you select your bank account that you created next. And then after, then your transaction will be done. So uh, I will get an email as well to confirm when my money is in my bank account, or I'll get an SMS. So that's how you do the withdrawal from Luno. I hope you understand. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, type on the description box, uh, on a comment box. And thank you so much for watching. And just a reminder to please uh, subscribe, uh, comment, and hit the notification button so that whenever I post a new video, you will get notified. And also please share my videos with people who do not know. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.